Hi everybody, it's Deb here with Creative Life. Welcome back to my channel and thanks so much for subscribing. Thanks so much for being here today, you guys. And it is the sixth day of our 12 Days of Christmas YouTube Hop. <laughs> And it is hosted by Rosa Kelly. And don't forget that I have all of the links to my channel, Rosa's channel, Kim Murray's channel, and Tiffany's channel all down below. Okay, so you can hop over to their channels anytime you would like. So I hope you guys are having fun with this hop because I'm telling you, I am loving the stuff that I'm seeing everybody is doing such a great job on their projects and um, I, tons of inspiration you guys I am absolutely loving it and um, so today I want to share with you my gingerbread house and this is what I created using a little birdhouse now of course I painted it brown okay and for the paint I actually I didn't have enough brown paint, so I actually mixed two different paints together to get the little brown that I wanted. And um, I used uh, multi-surface, it's dark, uh, a bark brown, okay. And this is by Folk Art, so it is bark brown. And then the other one I mixed with it is the um, Folk Art Caramel, okay. So I mixed those two together to get this brown here. Alrighty, and then um, after I let it dry, I went ahead and cut out some white glitter paper. Now the white glitter paper that I used, I'm so sad because I cannot find it. Um, it is by Tonic and it is my last sheet. So it is called Sugar Crystal. It is a glitter cardstock and um, yeah, and it's 92 pounds you guys. I absolutely love this white. It is the first white glitter cardstock that I've seen that I absolutely love. And um, so I, to attach the, the cardstock on there, I just went back and forth with some glue. I actually dabbed glue <laughs> from my bottle <laughs> onto the wood and I just went ahead and, and, you know, moved it back and forth and then uh, I adhered my glitter paper on top. And then what I did is I um, grabbed my white, uh, one of my white gel pens, okay, and I actually went through and made all of my little designs first. So like I did this design here and then this design. I did um, the windows and the little scrollies on here and then I did the windows in the back and then the little wiggly lines in the back of the um the gingerbread house and so and then what i did is after i did that i went ahead and used the pearl liquid pearls okay white opal and i traced over all of the lines that i created using the gel pen so i went ahead and went over everything and um yeah so that's how i did all of those to make it look like it was like puffed up or you know like um like icing right so that's what i did there so i think this turned out super cute <laughs> i just absolutely love it i wasn't quite sure i was really nervous about making this you guys because one, it's my first one I ever made of a gingerbread house, but um, I love doing birdhouses. And um, if you've seen some of my past birdhouses, um, I think I did an, I think I did one one year for Christmas, uh, Christmas hop. And I'll put that link after this um, video so you guys can check it out because it was such a pretty little birdhouse. Um, absolutely, I've done a couple actually. I did a rustic one too. Um, so if I find the links, I will put them down below for you and you can check those out. But I love doing birdhouses. They're like my favorite thing to do. To me, they're just really relaxing and I could just, you know, be creative and, and it just, I, it's just relaxing to me. So, um, so the next thing I did is for my little gems. Okay. After this, the white pearl, um, dried. 
I went ahead and added the little gems. Now the gems that I used are actually from a shaker bit P, uh, bottle that is from Recollections and this is called Christmas Noel. And um, it is nice and glittery and so, so pretty. So I thought that those would look really pretty because I was going to use like um, either I was going to use like liquid um, drops or I was going to use some other um, some other uh, little pearls right that I had in my stash but I really liked the the little shiny pieces and I thought that those would look so stinking cute with this and um, so um, there's a little piece of snow there <laughs> Okay, so then the next thing I did is after I added my little gems to all of my little areas once they were dried, okay, and I added them to all the little ones. Now, actually, these are red, okay. They look in, they look kind of like gold, but they have like a golden, um, like a goldish type of glitter or like a, like a little finish on them, but they're actually red. And so I put them all over here and on the back. I just love how this looks. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. So after I did that, I went ahead and I added my little buttons. Okay, now I added this, these buttons here and then I went ahead and added this button back here. And those buttons are from buttons galore and more and um so i used those and they just have like little candy canes and little mint uh shaped candies and all kinds of different ones in here are so stinking cute i absolutely love them and so i went ahead and added those next i went ahead and made the little columns here out of paper okay and how i did that is i will go ahead and share with you um i used this this paper here now i had two uh, two different ones but um, I used this one. I just thought that it was it was it was like a, a deep red, and I really liked it. Um, so this is the paper that I used to get it to roll. Okay, you have to manipulate it, and so um, basically, I'm just gonna go ahead and tear this out so I can show you. So basically, what I did is I just pulled it and pulled it and pulled it now what that does is it um when you pull your paper like this it tears up the paper fibers inside of the paper right so that way you can go ahead and manipulate it the way that you want and then i rolled it and rolled it and rolled it back and forth back and forth until it got more pliable okay once it got more ply once it was pliable enough for me to roll okay I could go ahead and roll it into a really, really tight little, um, you know, a little uh, roll like this. Okay. And then I went ahead and added my glue on the side, rolled it so it would stick, and then cut it. And then I went ahead and cut them down to the size that I needed to fit in between the little roof and the bottom part of the stand okay so cute <laughs> so then i started going through my paper and i found this little swag and i thought that would look really cute there so i went ahead and added some foam tape to the back of that and then foam tape to the back of this little holly piece and then foam tape to the back of this piece here and i just thought that that looked so stinking cute and um <clears throat> <clears throat> yeah, so that's how I did that. Next, we move up to the snow. So the snow, um, I went ahead and used my, um, let's see, what did I do with it? Oh, there it is. So I used my Polar White um, Flower Soft, and um, I just thought that that would look like snow. Now, I was going to use like that puff snow where you could put it on and then heat it up and then it puffs up. 
but I really liked the way that this looked and so I went ahead and again added glue all in through the wooden piece right here and then just kind of sprinkled it on and it is still flaking off a little bit but um I think it's so so cute I still think it looks really nice and um I just really like how it looks on that rooftop right so then I went ahead and added some on each of the columns here and then on the bottom and I just kind of made it look like a like a little snow and then back here like a little snow drift and through here you know um, in a round I just thought that that looked so stinking cute added some snow right in through here on the tops of these columns back here and then I used these little candy canes back here and those again are in that button galore and more packet that I had in my stash now I, I did buy these when they had a sale going on this last year I think it was during the summer and um, so yeah so I went ahead and bought those I only wasn't sure what I was going to use them for but I thought this project was really nice for them so I was happy I got them and um, then uh, the little gingerbread guys these are actually from button galore and more as well and let me see if I can find the um, packaging I don't know what I did with it so I can't find the packaging for these little buttons <laughs> but I did get them from button galore and more and they are the little gingerbread guys now I did when you get them they're really kind of like a bright um, color and I I like I don't know to me gingerbread men are more like brownish right they're crisp they're you know so I went ahead and put some paint on top of them and then I wiped the paint off and then I went ahead and grabbed my ink my vintage photo ink and I went around them <clears throat> okay and um, I just think that they turned out so stinking cute they do look like little gingerbread man they're they're a little brown <laughs> So, or a darker, you know, like a darker tan color. So I think that they look super cute. I did pop them up with some foam in the back. Now, the foam that I used is, again, from Michaels. And it comes like this. It comes in a big, big roll, okay? And it's just white foam. And so I just cut a few pieces, glued it on the back of them, so they would look like they're more 3D. So... That is my gingerbread house, you guys. I think it turned out super cute. <laughs> I hope you guys like it too. So thank you so much for joining me today. Don't forget to make sure that your YouTube channel is visible to us so we know that you are subscribed in case you win a prize from one of our channels. So again, we are each giving away prizes during this YouTube hop and um, I hope that you guys are having fun and getting tons and tons of inspiration. So thanks again for joining me. Don't forget that Kim Murray is up next. So you want to go down below and click on her account or <laughs> click on her YouTube channel and head on over there and watch what she has for you today. Thanks again for joining me, you guys. Take care. Have a great evening. I will talk to you tomorrow. Bye. Thanks for joining me today, y'all. Don't forget that down here in both of these corners, I have some more fun crafty videos for you to view. And don't forget to hit that bell for future notifications on all upcoming live shows, tutorials, videos, and more.